All right. How about this? I finally started Ultra Despairgals after like fucking weeks. I booted up and I heard this. And I was like, what a what a weird tone for a Dang and Ronpa game. <laughs> but I mean, who fucking knows? The reason why I haven't played this game is because I have no idea how it plays, you know. When you boot up a Danganronpa game, like I did with Danganronpa 2, you're like, okay, at least I know that's like, there are free time segments, there are island exploring segments, this weird 2D first person shooter sometimes, you know, thing. Well, not first person shooter, but first person mode with tank controls, and then there are the class trials at the end, and there are murders and stuff. I honestly have no idea what this game is about. It's like, I think it's like a hack and slash of sorts, which I've never played any of, if you can believe that. Like, I think this will be my first Bayonetta, Nier Automata-esque game, despite owning those games, like, much longer than this. Uh, but, uh, I know there's that. I know there are a lot of Monokumas. I don't know, it's probably Warriors-esque in a sense, with a bunch of Monokumas. I know there are some characters, like Chihiro's dad. Ooh, and then, like, I've seen some other characters, which I imagine are prominent, but I know nothing about them. And, um, I know it takes place in between Danganronpa 1, where the school thing starts, and Danganronpa 2, where, you know, the fucking apocalypse is pretty much still in way. Like, basically, if you haven't played Danganronpa 1 or 2, then you get, get out of here. <laughs> I actually did recordings of Danganronpa 2 not long before this. So, I don't know if you want to tune in for that, whatever, but I definitely recommend playing both of them yourself, since they're experiences. Speaking of experiences, let's experience this one. Also, I know that one of the protagonists is the main character from the first game's sister, and the second one is one of the characters from the first game that I was not a fan of. I think, well, yeah, I wasn't a fan of both of her forms, but I think she's in her genocide form for most of this, which I'm still not a fan of. And I read some reviews, and they said that, uh, some said, if you don't like her, you probably aren't going to like this game. And like that the sister is two dimensional. And then other people said, if you didn't like genocide or in the first game, then this game will make you appreciate her. So we'll see. Do I have to click in? <laughs> Ooh. All right. That's loud. That's loud. Can I, if I start a new game. Alright, well, hopefully this isn't that bad. What is this? Genocide mode? Super Ultra Pump Genocide Jack mode, for those who just want to enjoy the story. You know, Genocide mode doesn't sound like that. Komaru mode, so I'm imagining Komaru is the name of the, uh, sister. Working hard for a normal girl mode. And then Ultra Despair mode. So I guess we'll do normal mode. What does that say? I order you to choose the difficulty level. Alright. Hopefully this isn't too loud. <laughs> I guess I can turn it down. Oh, okay. So because this game is a bit more complex, they're gonna need to do something like this. Manual, manual camera, you can control the camera with the right stick. This can be changed in options later. So choose the one you like for now. Um, manual probably, if I had to guess. I have no idea. So, hey, there's the earth. For once, it's not America-focused. Oh, this is loud, yeah. The world is round. It's Australia-focused. Is that really true? Earth might have the shape of rock candy. Maybe it's not loud. I don't know. Like that spiky lump of sugar your grandma would wrap in a tissue. If you're Japanese, maybe. But I don't really. It sounds know like a sure. remix. It's not like I've actually seen the shape of the Earth. Oh god, the fucking flat Earth meme. In the same starting way, with that. I've never actually seen most things that are considered common knowledge. Hey, Monokuma. Common knowledge and what we take for granted. Wait, we that's from the first game, such isn't it? Things. I think it is. Uh, not that it matters. An execution. Me. I mean, my world isn't even big enough to worry about stuff like the shape of the Earth or common knowledge. I don't know about In that. In fact, it's pretty small. So small that it's actually a little funny. My ears are kind of hurting from this voice. Oh my god, it's like anime. It's actually like this anime. This is my world. 
Jesus. The two-bedroom apartment that I live in is my world. My life doesn't extend beyond these walls. Hold on, I'm gonna turn the volume down a bit. But it's not like I'm a shut-in or anything. Maybe that will be better? I don't know. I am actually imprisoned inside this room. Oh. My name is Komaru Naegi. Yep, Naegi. I'm a completely normal high school girl. Except for the whole. It's an abnormal daily life. Also resting. Her voice is much different than I expected. I thought it would be deeper, more monotone, more serious. Sounds more like young, you know? <laughs> All right. Are you going to try it? Yep, break, break out. This is also a remix. Hey! Jeez, you Ever since my imprisoned life began, this pointless defiance became my morning routine. Okay, I was gonna say. But it was only at the beginning that I was seriously crying and yelling. Am I gonna have to it's find a way out? It's been a year out? and a half since my imprisoned life began. Jesus Christ. Can you believe it? A year and a half. There's Junko. So long that I've become completely used to this life. It's frightening. A year and a half is so attack. fucking long. I've learned that firsthand through this imprisonment. But it's not like I've completely given up, of course. If I had, I mean, I wouldn't do things like change my uniform. The morning routine. I just don't want to get my hopes up too much. Because through this imprisonment, I've learned too much about the horrifying despair. It always follows oh, hope. Here we go. Despair. Despair and hope. Huh? Keywords. Jeez, it's finally breakfast? It's about time I'm starved in here. But anyway, about this whole imprisonment. Unfortunately, even I, the victim, have no clue whatsoever. Oh. <laughs> Ever since I've been taken by strange people into this strange place, I wanted Japanese style. Receiving meals for breakfast, lunch, and dinner is the only communication I have with the outside. I haven't seen the culprit's face or even heard their voice. I still don't even know why I'm imprisoned here. Yeah, nor do I, but I guess we're gonna figure that Regardless out. Regardless of how abnormal and unfair the situation is, unfair. this is my world and my daily life now, so it can't be helped. See? Sucks, right? My story ended before it even began. It's not like I still have hope that something sudden will happen after all this Gen time. Genocider, isn't it? Gonna, gonna come and do it. Let her out. Huh? What? Huh? What happened? Also, this game also has the black bars on the side, which is kind of annoying. Could it be? Did someone come to rescue me? <laughs> Her voice does hurt hurt my ear ear earlobes though. I don't want to live this life anymore. Please open the door. Woo! Is that supposed to be a monokuma? It looks like that. A monokuma. Jesus Christ. It's Monokuma's appearing theme. Please tell me he like bounces up still. Nah. Definitely sounds robotic. Well. Oh, he's like actually more robotic. Jesus, oh, here we go. Here's the actual game. I, I didn't get to read that information. Armed and ready to kill. All right. Get away from me. Tutorial. Walk. <laughs> Maybe I might want an auto camera if it locks on to people. He'll never. <laughs> he'll never get me. Is he okay? 
He doesn't look okay. That was my chance. Goodbye! Juked. Juked! The elevator. Oh, what the hell? I guess we're in an apartment. How about that? Yeah, fire? fire. I can't get through. I was gonna say she knows what fire is. So, I mean, come on now. She wasn't trapped in this like her whole life. Maybe I do want auto camera. Oh, he managed to figure it out. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Skills unknown. Map unknown. Oh, okay. System retry. Ooh, retry. There are options. People. Okay, we only the truth bullets are a thing, so that's curious. Likes girls manga, whatever's trending. Dislikes lightning, rainy season. Uh, normal girl, little sister to the ultimate hope, Makoto Naegi. Doesn't have any special talents, of course. Has been imprisoned in a Toya City apartment for a year and a half. All right, let's. It's so weird. You expect the buttons to switch these, but it's the triggers, as you can see in the top right and top left, I guess, but let's go to options. Camera mode. The camera automatically follows you. We'll try it. Normal inverted, I'd imagine. You, what, you look at all that space. You couldn't type out the whole word? Like, what if no, what if this was like your first video game or something? Didn't know normal and inverted. A test? A test? I feel like we want the voice volume to be high. Maybe sound effect volume to be a little lower. Confirm event with, or confirm event skip with, with? Set whether or not to display the skip event confirmation. I see. Maybe it'd be best if, oh, uh, we want with, you know, the, the confirmation dialogue in case we accidentally press something. Well, that's a nice option to have. All right. Even if her voice like kind of hurts my ears, I think that what it's important what I do? to have voice up as high as possible so that we can hear it. Hopefully it doesn't overpower my voice. I don't think it does. Someone help me! You know, you think like, since this game is like 3D and has models and shit, they'd actually like, uh... <laughs> make not those kinds of fire effects, but whatever. Jesus Christ. <laughs> hey, it's Togami! <gasps> I'm pretty sure, yeah, that's the weapon. I, I still don't quite get it. But what, maybe it'll be explained. You must be Komaru Naegi. Fuck yeah, Togami's voice. Back. Future Foundation, 14th Division, Byakuya Togami. <laughs> I mean, if I were, I'd be like, what? Yeah, what the fuck? Uh, um, Why do you have a gun shaped like a megaphone? Don't get the wrong idea and start crying. I'm not the one who imprisoned you here. Actually, I'm here to rescue you. Thank God. <laughs> Future Foundation received intel that a captive was imprisoned somewhere inside this building. I mean, it's like an apartment, right? Wouldn't someone have noticed unless everyone here is captive? Future Listen to this song. Foundation? It would appear that intel was correct. However... <clears throat> what is the meaning of this? What are all these vermin Monokumas doing here? Vermin. Monokuma? No matter how you look at it, the timing is just too perfect. Just as we show up, a riot breaks out. No, they must have known we were coming. A riot? What is happening? Perhaps the intel itself was a trap to lure us here. Uh, um... What, what do you mean, Yeah, riot? really, what's, what's fucking happening? Outside? And that black and white bear thing back there, what was that? What's going uh, on? I'm assuming maybe she's been trapped in there before Monokuma took over or something. So you so don't even know, know Monokuma? Yeah. That kind of ignorance must be nice. He was just like that the first time I met him. Was he? I don't think he was. Him? You really don't know anything, do you? I guess I'll tell you. 
but it will have to wait. Now's no time for talk. Uh -huh. uh. <laughs> Is he gonna die? Oh, Jesus Christ. Where'd they all come from? Oh, they're, they're even more. Oh, no! The Faceless Future Foundation employees. Do you really have an option other than run? There's our weapon. All right. It's a hacking gun developed by Future Foundation. Hacking gun. It shoots program codes with electromagnetic waves. Program codes, huh? It appears to be effective against these Monokumas. It blows them up. Look, I don't. I don't Though you should have discerned that from the test shot. I don't understand what the fuck is happening. Okay. It's much different Read than the, the first two games. Read the operation instructions included with the gun. Are we? You're okay. on your own. It's probably here. controls. What do you mean? Yeah. Why? What the you fuck? You can run, can't you? I'm busy now. Now yeah, that I've seen these sense. annoying bears, I can't just leave them be. You say aura, 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 aura. But where would I go? A member of Future Foundation is on standby at the restaurant across the street. <laughs> Hurry up and go. You're just in the way here. All right. Where's the instruction manual on how to use this? What a Yeah, what a weird intro, but I guess it kind of sets what I knew about the game. I didn't know the anime was a part of the game though. Or where it all started, or all that. Pig boy. Nice sound effect. Jesus Christ. Why is no one armed? Surely this has been going on for a while. Like, why are Monokumas just killing people? As if, like, this is a new thing. Like, why am I more important than all these people? I mean, I guess because I'm, you know, Nagi's sister, but still. Everyone's having a normal-ass time in here. Welcome. Despite all the shit that's happening outside. A table for one? Huh? Bear attack! Bear attack! The military? If we don't hurry! Miss, please keep your voice down. You're disturbing the other customers. Who cares about that? Oh. Hurry! Right, I thought she was going to say, who cares about that? Just be quiet, me, okay? One order of... Relax and stay calm. I'm assuming that they're just used to this shit. Hello? Police? Some suspicious girl is... Got her. Is she going to call the, the police on her? Are you kidding me? Like, I like how this all just happened all of a sudden. Everyone's just happened in normal ass time. You think they would have, like, heard all the attacks outside? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Grab the megaphone, dude. Someone help me! help yourself. <laughs> Was this Persona 5 now? I imagine Persona 5, you know, wasn't like the first one that did this kind of generic characters that just powered in outlines and stuff. She's gonna read the controls now, isn't she? Please. Weird vibrations. I, I mean, honestly, I'd be freaking out too. Like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Let's go. You see that Monokuma computer? Surely they know that this is like a thing. Alright, here we go. It's time for a tutorial. Thank you, game text. If you press the LT, alright, you ready the hacking gun. So that's aiming, I guess, with the line. Right stick focuses the reticle. Right stick. Okay. If you press RT button with the gun out, you fire a truth bullet. Come on now. 
Okay, what's all this? Press the X button to open the Truth Bolt selection menu. We have Break, Knockback, Dance, Paralyze, Move, Burn, Detect, and Link. Seem infinite ammo. Outside the menu with the directional buttons. So probably the D-pad. Okay. This makes no sense. Why is this happening? Alright, I gotcha. This gun is amazing. Monokuma fighter achievement. I'm definitely gonna get out of here. Fuck yeah, because I'm the best. Oh jeez, maybe I shouldn't have camera on auto. Oops. Whoa. These are weird controls. Maybe I should switch to uh They're dead. keyboard. They're all dead. So what are these sounds? Thank God they aren't actually attacking me because these controls. Like I'm kind of fighting the camera at the moment. Hold on, I can I can pause and you know fix it. Which I mean, what I'll do is I'll try uh, I'll try manual camera and turn on the sound effects a bit. And then we'll see how that works from there. Save me! Can't move anymore. What is this? What is going on? I might have to do mouse and keyboard, which means you'll hear keyboard clacking. <laughs> That's Janet Cider, isn't it? Who's there? <laughs> it's the TV. No, okay, maybe not. No, oh, okay. Double okay. Yeah, I'm like, what? I'm a zombie. I'm gonna eat ya. Fuck kids, dude. Oh no. Hey, Masaru. Do zombies really say rawr like that? I'm really having trouble. I don't like this kid already. That, you know? mm, who cares? I told you style is important for this kind of thing. Is it slow blank? What is happening? Why are these kids so annoying? Didn't I tell you this broadcast was important? This is the Warriors of Hope's keynote address. Jeez, what are you so mad about? Oh wait, I bet you want to play zombie too, huh, Nagisa? Ugh. Stop that! Don't come over here! Please stop! These animations though, come on now. I really hope these kids aren't main characters. I thought to myself, knowing that that is 200% not the case. They're definitely characters. Oh, she's in a wheelchair, okay. Citizens of Toa City, nice to meet you. We are the Warriors of Hope. Are you now? We are the masters of is that middle Monokuma. finger? This town, this dirty, lame, Worthless, okay, so they're the enemies. Town, Good. Nothing more than a penal colony for filthy criminals. What? It is on this site that we've decided to build a paradise of children for children by children. And Got therefore, it. Hate kids. all of you adults will no longer be needed. Goodbye. So, if I got that right, they're working for Monokuma. So, they're the enemy. Maybe they're the bosses. We're all shooting them with a gun. Oh, here's the intro. Which is... I mean, I wasn't greeted with this when I opened up the game like in Danganronpa 2, so this is all new to me. Alright, keep your eye out. This is gonna have spoilers in it. But like, they're so quick and just, you know, pictures that you won't actually understand them as spoilers or the context they're in until you actually see them. Yeah, this is like Gangster Monokuma is on the soundtrack cover, so... I don't know, maybe he's the main antagonist Monokuma? I don't fucking know, dude. But hey, at least this theme's back, am I right? Okay, Fukawa, but I'm probably just gonna call her Genocider for the entire game, since that's easier. 
Kuro Kuma. What's Kuro mean? Probably like rich or something. Shiro Kuma? Come on. I'm never gonna remember these names. So I'm gonna I'm gonna have to like go through this intro again. Take the pictures and then, you know. <laughs> Have a, have a little thing with all the names in it again. Just like a Danganronpa 2. I'm also gonna have to figure out the controls, but we'll do that. I don't know how long, like, the prologue or whatever is. It's like, I'm free today? It's just, like, it's four. So, I'm gonna wanna get dinner between six and seven, if possible. How about we just finish the prologue? Finish the prologue, and then I'll have a feel for the game, so I'll be able to feel like I can p actually Around play it. A year and a half ago, you know, a certain incident completely changed the world. I was locked in a room. Apparently, the origin Apparently. of the incident was a student movement at a certain school, but the school covered it up, so it was too late when the world finally realized. All the uh, what's the name? Reserve course students killing, right? That's it. it grew out of control. Becoming a monster that swallowed the entire world. Isn't Hope's Peak like that one on the right side? Or is this entire kind of area also Hope's Peak? It's like it should be focusing on that, shouldn't it? It couldn't have just been some riot or student protest. I mean, apparently it was, though. It had to be something far deeper. I like this remix. Obvious. It did come from Hope's Peak Academy, after all. Eventually, the incident grew so much in strength and scale that it threw the world into despair. Theft, arson, brutality, murder, the violent crime rate went off the charts. Violence spawned revenge, which fueled more violence, driving the crime rate even higher. Is that how Before that works? Long, a global war broke out. A war not for land or ideals, but only for the sake of war. A war that tainted the world with despair. But even with all this- Hey, this is the picture chaos, from the first game. I had complete faith in my world. And even when it felt like I was falling, I kept believing. It's still okay. It's all right. Then, I found out that seven of my classmates had died suspiciously. I fell further still. But even then, I kept telling myself, It's all going to be fine. Don't be afraid. But the realization that it was too late came to me like the ground rushing up to break my fall. A group of men I had never seen before broke into my house. And so oh, okay, good. Because I'm like, is this another situation where their memory is taken away and then, you know, the I, general idea of the game is to get your memory back because that fills in the story? It doesn't seem like that. We're, we're just getting it all here. So, and locked in a room, right? The world I had been living in up to that moment collapsed. Everything changed. Because one of the motives in the first game was like, hey, your families are, uh, you know, <laughs> not, that, not in that good of a position. And then Nagy looked at his motive thing, and it was that first picture, and then followed up by this picture. And since that horrible so I guess it's, I, I guess it's real. A year and a half passed. I was supposed to be a normal high school girl. But instead, I became a complacent prisoner. And what was waiting for me at the end of that despair? was a despair even deeper, even worse. There's no use in keeping hope. That's what I was forced to realize once again. Don't come near me. Why is this happening? If I knew this was gonna happen, I would have stayed in my room forever. Fucking sound effect. What an idiot. Like, check behind the pillar. I don't really like the mouth movements in this game. I said that someone is supposed to be here, right? Yeah, uh, where'd they go exactly? I was gonna bring that up. I thought that, you know, the TV was them. All right, we gotta find him. Cannot move, so. <laughs> is that them? That suit. It's the same as that Biakia guy's. 
Uh, are you all right? Who, who are you? You shouldn't be here. Hurry up and run. No, I have a gun. I'm uh, fine. Um, you're from Future Foundation, right? Oh, how did you know? How did you know? Are they an underground organization, apparently? I, yeah. I was told by a guy named Byakuya Tagami to meet you here. Could you be... Are you a captive? Yeah, I, I mean, I figured when we would meet someone, it wouldn't be, you know, faceless future foundation man. So, I figured it would be our partner in crime here. Go to the park. Head through this door and go straight down the road. I didn't even answer if I was a captive. There should be a future foundation helicopter there. Oh, shit. There. Do we get a... Hurry. Get in the helicopter. But Let's go. What about you? Shoot him. Oh, there are more of them. Nice scream. Hurry. You gotta get out of here. You gotta get out of here. I'm sorry. And he's dead. Over here. I'll take you all on. Will he though? I'm so sorry. The inside of their mouths look really weird. Like too red, you know. The, the town. It's, it's in ruins. So wait. They said I could switch bullets with the directional pads, but... Do I have another, uh... I can't choose truth bullets. So maybe I actually can't change it yet. Also, I see mana coins down there. I see. Are we gonna have another, you know, gacha? So, like, I guess I could just walk. I was wondering what that sound was. Nice. Dad! Mom! Makoto! Classic Danganronpa aesthetic. Jesus Christ. Hey, there's the helicopter. How about that? They landed a helicopter <laughs> in, a, like, an actual children's park? Alright. Hey! You know, she's acting like she ran, but I actually like walked through that segment. Um, this guy called Byakuya Tagami said that you guys could rescue me. <laughs> that name. He's an important character. What is your name? K Komaru. Nagi. Say it. Komaru Nagi. Looks like that information about a captive in this town was correct. So, where is Byakuya Togami? Is he safe? We don't fucking know, but I'm pretty sure he's alive. I mean, judging by the events of Danganronpa 2. He, he told me to run, so I... I haven't seen him since. I see. I can't reach him, so I thought he might be in danger. But then again, this is Byakuya Togami we're talking about. I'm sure he can handle himself. But, but, but there was someone from Future Foundation getting attacked in the restaurant back there! Please... You have to go save him! He's oh, I'll okay, never mind. He's dead. He's so dead. Both of them are dead. We can make it in time. Um, what exactly is going on here? I still have no idea what's happening. I don't know who you are, or where I am, or anything. I see. I well, see. Well, we don't have much time, see? so I'll give you the short version. This is like... <laughs> This is like, hey, Dogami's voice actor, can you do a very slightly different voice for Future Foundation C? It's reminding me of that one motive in Danganronpa 2 where it's like girl A, B, C, and I got mindful to tell. First off, we're from an organization called Future Foundation. We're this is just to Togami. Recover from the incident. You know what I'm referring to? No. Incident? I mean, I do, but no. It's behind your imprisonment. The biggest, most They're, awful, they kind of... most tragic event in human history. You know, I still hate how that's the actual name. It was more than just an incident. It shook the foundations Listen of society to, to the core. Remix. And it wasn't just one. Okay. Various These are from the second game, I think. The world. And then the war. The war. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history includes that, too. Because of all of this, the world just crumbled. But in all that chaos, Crisis City, is that is that uh, the protagonist from the Future second Foundation game? Is trying the best we can to bring hope back to this world. This weird ass Final Fantasy haircut and oh, red eyes. As for this town, 
It's you fucked. Right? Are you following? Uh, yeah. It's just a lot to take in, that's all. It's hard to hear. I'm sorry, but you need to know. You need this to know. This town is an island off the coast and controlled by a powerful IT corporation. Oh, this is an island. All right. It's commonly called Toa City. Toa City used to just be a nickname, but now it's what everyone calls it. Why? What does Toa mean? Ever since the government stopped functioning due to the tragedy. So what is this? Like, is this like an actual future world? That structure on the very right kind of looks like a traditional Japanese building, but also like, you know, spiffied up. So we'll call it futuristic. Toa Group and their cutting-edge technology are running the show here. Toa, Toa Group. Group is a corporation that played a huge role in rebuilding the world. Uh, yeah, you know, they're doing a pretty good job. Ever since the tragedy, air pollution has made a lot of the planet uninhabitable. Is that true? But Toa Group developed an air purifier that can clean massive quantities of air at a time. They invented it only three months after the safety order to stay indoors was given. Even after all this time, people all over the world are still clamoring for it. Yeah, I can imagine. Breathing, the huh? air isn't the only thing that draws people to this town. Because of Toa Group's influence, this city has suffered far less damage than others. So is the idea... Uh, okay. The idea is that I was put in the room for my safety? Is that it? Because it's relatively unaffected by yeah. the incident, it's of special interest to us. <laughs> I'm sorry, I gotta pay attention to this dude in the background of the music. It's getting to me again. It's relatively unaffected by the incident. It's of special but interest. this kind of riot going on in Toa City, this is something we never anticipated. So it's a riot? Why is something like this happening? Honestly, even we have no clue whatsoever about what's happening here. You know, whoever's doing the Monokuma shit just decided, hey, I'm going to throw a bunch of them on this island that, you know, seems like it's pretty well off. Fuck you guys. Where those Monokumas came from? Why they're attacking the city? They're Monokumas. I figured that much. And that broadcast by those creepy kids. Right. None of it makes any sense at all. The only thing we know for sure is that yeah. something horrible is happening. I hate this knockoff Togami. We need to get more intel, but our priority is to escape. We need to leave, at least for now. Yeah, you're right. So am I the we only captive? We'd probably get killed in a place like this. You know, thinking on it, me being called the captive seems to think that I wasn't put here for my own safety. I don't fucking know. And I'm, um, I mean, I want to see my family again. It's been I mean, so we always I... see. I mean, is it all right if I call him Nagy? I don't even say it correctly, I think, but oh, I'm just so used to it. Family. Oh, about your family. They're all dead except for one of them, probably. Oh, what was that? Do you hear that? Singing? No, not the kids. Over there. Over there. It's a chow garden. <laughs> okay. A kid? <laughs> Get back! He's running like a bear. I'm done. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, she gives him a shit. Shoot him! Look how he actually fucking sounds like a bear as well. This is the first time Monokuma has actually seemed like a bear in his entire life. Well then. Well then. This is problematic. How could something have gone so wrong? Maybe they should have- <laughs> You know what they should have done? Maybe they shouldn't have fucking talked outside and should have flown the helicopter and done the talking. You know, just a thought. Why is it playing the execution music? Is the game over already? Yeah. <laughs> Quickly, jump! If you jump right before you land, it'll save you, except not really. She's alive somehow. The hell? 
Oh, yeah, no. That would suck. You know, you guys can stop. She's she's down. Well, what a what a turn of events. I figured we'd go to the future Foundation headquarters and then be sent on missions to kill Monokumas, but uh then this happened. Hey. Oh no. Can you hear me? Oh no. Are you okay? Jesus Christ. They're re they're doing this again. It can't be Komeda, right? Like, and, and, you know, at this point in the game, he's probably like an asshole, right? You look completely exhausted. Are you kidding me? What the who, fuck? Who are you? <laughs> oh, you me? know what? Never mind. She was kidnapped, right? Oh, my name's not really important. After all, I'm just a lowly servant. Yeah, right. Okay, this makes sense. So what were they called? The not the blackened, the uh, the ultimate despair. She's probably in. The ultimate despair's headquarters. This okay, this is so interesting, I, I guess. To seek refuge. Then the riots. Wait, maybe he's not a bad guy though. I don't fucking know. We'll just, just progress, my and dude. On top of that, I get captured by them. I've seriously got no luck at all. But because I pleaded for my life, they allowed me to live as their servant. Oh, his name is Servant. Come on, we know who he is. Ah, I'm being rude. Enough about me. Let's talk about you. You know, I bet the people who hated Komeda in the second game were like so glad that he would be gone forever once they finished that game. And then they boot up this game and in the first 40 minutes, 40 minutes already, Jesus. He's like, he's here. Also, is this how the soundtrack's gonna be? Just like this guy in the background? Either you truly are completely exhausted or okay. you're simply afraid to wake up and face reality. You were asleep a full two days. How? How? Whatever. A full two days? A full two days. More than enough time for the world to change completely. Yes, even our world can change just that quickly. Like a watercolor painting caught in the rain. Yeah, maybe what I'm gonna do is turn the volume down a bit more. No, actually, hold on. I wanna, in OBS, I want to keep it at like 7.2. I can I can bear to turn it down in the volume mixer by like a notch or two more. I mean, I could just turn the volume up as well. <laughs> Whatever. Ah, uh, but you're more concerned about yourself than the world right now, correct? You know, I kind of like how this game, when I click in, it doesn't just assume I'm using keyboard. Sticks with controller. You're wondering what's to become of you. Unlike the second now game. Now that you're trapped here, in this place. What's that present? I thought it was a plant for a while. What's going to happen to me? Hey, where's my weapon, by the way? <sighs> huh? Oh, apologies. Your reaction was so normal. It surprised me a little. Oh my God! Here we go. You know, the protagonist is a normal high schooler, right? Also, do you notice the glove on his hand? Where, you know, I imagine Junko's hand is? <laughs> you honestly don't have a single unique characteristic. Hey, shut up, dude. Neither do you. Uh, um, yeah, what, what, yeah, what is this, by the way? Well, like, why are you going on this tangent? About it. This world is filled with unremarkable people. And the only one capable of empathizing with common, boring people is me. Is a common, oh, boring yeah. person like yourself. So okay. That's why you pass. What, what are you talking about? Yeah, for real though. Well, that is just my personal opinion. It doesn't matter to them at all. Which means stop I'll saying them. Like, God, I hate when games do this. You know when they say her or him or them. I mean, I guess in like things like diaries and stuff, I guess it makes sense. But like, she's talking to someone who obviously doesn't know what's going on. He's doing it intentionally just to be an asshole. A test? Ah, uh, but before that, I'll return this. <gasps> is it my weapon? Figured he put it in the present for some reason. I'm surprised that this was kept. Like, was it attached to her? Did the Monkumas bring it or something? The, the hacking gun. I borrowed it from you without permission. Sorry, but I absolutely had to analyze its capabilities. 
Look, I don't even know anything about, so whatever. Little machine, a device that forcibly hacks machines by shooting program codes with electromagnetic. <laughs> sounds so stupid. We all know Chihiro's dad made it, right? However, it was a bit too powerful. I made a few modifications for game balance purposes. No, no. Game balance. Yeah, break of the fourth wall. No need to worry. You'll have the opportunity to upgrade it later. So now I probably can't one-shot Monokumas, I'm uh, imagining. Um, I have no idea what you're talking about. I understand how you feel, but it's about time you started the test. Is this the tutorial? If you can safely make it all the way to where everyone is waiting, you pass. That was it called? The Killing Dead Room, right? Everyone? You'll meet them when you get there. However... Even after you meet everyone, be sure to keep that gun of yours a secret. Gun. If you don't want to die, that is. I mean, look, I'm sure it's modified. I'll be going on ahead. I gotta. We we don't have the resources to make it look like an actual gun. We only have this megaphone, so I guess it'll have to do. What the heck? What is going on now? Give me the present. Eyeballing it. Move! Was this forced doors to open? Yep. <laughs> it's telling the door to move. Like, why are they calling it a truth bullet, though? Hacking magic. Did you see that? With super powered hacking magic. Press the X button to change the ammo. Or. Come on. No, there we go. Okay. It's up and down. Oh, I see. Okay. Move! All right, let's see. Break. So, all right, here we go. So basically, all these commands are just, are all these, you know, bullet types are actually just commands that the hacking gun is telling the computer to do. So it tells the Monokumas to break. It tells the door to move. Put in some time with the hacking and let me tell you something. The red left eye is the weak point for all Monokumas. All right, nice shot. Shoot that weak point with break. This is like, isn't a headshot hard enough, you know? In one shot, see, cause I was body shotting those Monokumas and killing them. So this is why they nerfed it. Oh no, the game has ammo. It's one hell of a shot. Okay. So it gives me super ammo. I see. Okay, you have to hold it down. Oops. The gun. I've been had. It's weaker. Is this the game balance that guy was talking about? <laughs> the game balance. Fifty mono coins. I would kill for that. All right. Hold on. I cannot. So this is more or less like a first-person shooter in third person. Now you might be thinking, Chris. That's so fucking obvious, but I figured with a third person shooter, I could use a controller. So, can, do you think I can? Also, how do I save? How do I, does it just auto save? Look at, that, look at this little drawing. Okay. But like, how do I save? Also, maybe if I do click in, I can use the... No, I can't. Okay, so maybe it is a bad thing that I can't switch on the dime. Because I don't know how to save. Oh, God. They're going to be save box, right? Okay, so for now, I guess I'll use the controller. But I'm not happy with it. Just, just understand, I'm not happy with using a controller as a shooter. Which is like, hey, Chris, you should have known that. You should have known that. This is, I, like I told you, this is like my first time with a first-person shooter, so... All right, now turn around my friend. Oh, okay, I was gonna say. I thought I couldn't kill him in one go. Oh, that was probably my super powered bullet, wasn't it? That I got for doing the nice shot. Also, are the controls inverted? No, but I think I might want them to be inverted. Oddly enough. So pressing up to look up. 
oddly isn't natural for me. I don't understand why, since I've always hated inverted controls. Weird. Weird that I would think that. Alright, speedrun strat. Oh, jeez. Camera. Ouch. Hey, hold on. Monokuma, move aside for a sec. Maybe I don't want inverted controls. Maybe I was right. I try to move something again. Right, the A button's on the bottom. Was that a fucking sonic ring sound effect? I mean, if this were an indie game, I would actually think that, but... Oh, and I gotta... Why is it going like... Ow! Move. Damn it. She yells move too. Alright. I need I need to the room I, past the stairs. I need a mouse. I need a mouse. You don't understand. This was a mistake. Do I start like I wanna risk starting the game over though? Is that it? Oh. Oh, I guess that makes sense. Ding dong, bing bong. Who are those kids? Is that like intentional? The kids who are on TV. That has to be intentional, right? Oh man! How That's the uh. I'd ought to grab your back any time. What are you talking about? I can only write using a chisel, but if you don't mind that, I can sign your back too. What well, is the signing the well. back thing? I'm always in the mood for sweets. However, so flavors are no good. Those disgusting tastes are never worth putting in your mouth. Mm, I want to drive a train someday, but can't. I want to go inside a chimney. Say drive a train? Who doesn't want to go inside a chimney? I don't know. Hey, finally, the, the like only normal person. She's the leader of the bunch. You know her well. Welcome, big sis. Big sis. So happy you came, Mew. Oh god. Oh no, please don't do this. Please don't make that a verbal um, tick, please, for the love of uh, god, don't don't do it. Oh, that's right. Big sis doesn't know us yet. Well, I guess we should start with introductions. Why are we the big sis? I'm assuming that's gonna be answered at some point. Alright, let's start with me, the leader. Oh, I thought that she was the leader. Okay. I'm the leader of the Warriors of Hope. Hero class. Hero class. Look, I'm not gonna remember your name, okay? Red kid. Class was Jim, so they called me Lil Ultimate. Lil Ultimate. Lil Ultimate. Was it called Lil Lil Super High School Level? What is X for intro? If I, if I press that, does it skip? I hope not. Oh, okay. Leader that unites the warriors of hope with a bang. Masaru Daimon. The song sounds familiar, but I don't know if it's from a previous game or if I just happened to hear it. My special subject was PE, so they called me Lil Ultimate PE. Was this an option before? Then I just happened to now notice it and I missed it for other characters. Oh, so that sucks. King who can do every exercise ever. Running non-stop 24/7 365 is easy as pie. Oh, I almost forgot. My job in the Warriors of Hope is the hero. And as hero and the leader, I'm gonna be the new ruler of this town. Did it say bump? I just now noticed that. Aha! A hero, the leader, and the Lil Ultimate PE. I even impressed myself. Lil Ultimate though, I'm done. You're far too boastful to be a leader. A true leader is calm and dignified. You can tell by my blue hair and eye shape that I, I am, am calm and dignified. On it. Look at the fucking pow. I was win rock, paper, scissors. Doesn't matter. I'm Dump. still the leader. I won, so I'm the leader. The leader! If you hate kids, don't play this game. <laughs> You're the leader. Now, allow me to introduce myself. Let me press the X button. I am the sage. The sage. I am the vice leader of sorts. All right, let's see here. My name is Nagisa Shingetsu. In the Warriors Shingetsu. of Hope, 
I act as the vice leader and sage. This song does not fit at I all. elementary school, I was known as Little Ultimate Social Studies. Social the Little Ultimate, like just hearing, hearing him in that kid's voice say it is so fucking hilarious to me. But Little Ultimate Social Studies, you know, so like, it's not, it's not like, <laughs> it's not like a, a role, you know, as a subject in school. It would be like Will Ultimate Social Studies student, but no, he's the Will Ultimate Social Studies. That doesn't make any of sense. Of course, social studies is but one area of my expertise. I excel at all scholarly pursuits. You can tell because I'm calm, so that means I'm smart. I was labeled Little Ultimate Social Studies because I was raised to be among society's elite. And all right. I suppose I am a babysitter of sorts for the Warriors of Hope. Monica excluded. Who was that? Is that the wheelchair girl? Is it offensive for me to call her wheelchair wheelchair girl because I don't know her name? I hope not. Maybe I should say green haired girl. That might be a bit better. During my time at Hope's Peak Elementary, I was known as Little Ultimate Social Studies. Why not just play the intro? Why do I have to press X for the intro? It doesn't make any sense. Huh? Maybe if you want to speed Hope's past Peak. the game or something. Hmm? Why should that surprise you? I thought Hope's Peak was for like high, it was a high school, and also an elementary school, but. I. I I didn't know there was an yeah, elementary okay, here we go. school affiliated with the academy. He's gonna say, um, I was so smart that I sp skipped many grades and I'm a high school student, despite being the age of 12 years old. <laughs> Such an ignorant woman. At least I'm a woman. Anyway, Not a girl. Perhaps Jotaro? You aren't gonna explain oh, it to me? I don't want- I, go, can I, practice introducing myself? I don't like this kid. Um, what was I gonna say? Uh, I'm the priest, Jotaro Kamori. The priest, like his voice is just very not good. You I shouldn't even press this. Like, I God, I hate this voice. I hate this. Like I hate this. Oh, um, my name All right. I was really good at art. If Will it's ultimate art. Crafts, I do the priest thing for... And you specialize in arts and crafts, okay. making you little ultimate art, correct? Moving on. Oh, you said what I was good. Oh, my chest itches. Your speeches are always too long. You guys are going to have to like pause the video and read or <laughs> either read at the speed that I read at or just pause the video to read his shit because I am not listening to that voice. Also, you hear this remix? How an elephant's nose is so long? But then again, giraffe necks are long too. Yeah, it's a it's a miracle of evolution, my and friend. Also waiting for a plane takes too long, and spring break is too long. Uh, Au contraire. Um, well, anyway. Is she impatient? Is that Jack the Rowe. is that He's her trait? Latchkey kid. It made him a bit mental. Latchkey kid. Let me move the switch controller so I can put this controller down so I can go to my other monitor and. Type latchkey into here. Latchkey kid? Why is that auto fill in? A key to an outer door of a house. A latchkey kid or a latchkey child is a child who returns from school to an empty home because their parent or parents are away at work. Okay. So basically, they're, you know, their parents work nights so they come home from school alone. I see. Okay. So he was not, he didn't have a proper family love. It's not that I just Maybe it was the voice. Kids, though. Some kids say they have magical powers. Isn't that awesome? You might get caught inside a magical parallel universe. Oh, look at that. So oh, formal. Wait, sorry for the late introduction. My the fighter. Is Toko Utsugi, and I play the role of fighter. Ahoy, oh, okay. Hoy, ahoy, a girl. Utsugi, Come on now. I play the fighter in the Warriors of Hope. You fighter indeed. Look, I'm totally I, a girl. look. I'm gonna be honest. I did not think that at all. So. Peel chestnuts. Totally adorbs. I love it. Totally adorbs. Like peel chestnuts to eat, or just. I don't know. I don't know what peel and chestnuts are. Whatever. Drama. drama. But who cares about that old stuff? I'm so happy to meet you. The little ultimate drama. It's not even like. <sighs> Do kids even learn drama? I thought drama class. It's not even called drama class. It was 
taught in high school. Whatever. I was called Little Ultimate Drama, was. but that was a long time ago, so I'll leave that part out. My favorite food is peeled chestnuts. Okay, so it is food. My least favorite food is unpeeled chestnuts. I wish I wish she did the cadence a bit differently on that. Like my favorite food is peeled chestnuts. My least favorite food is unpeeled chestnuts or something like that. <laughs> Aren't you surprised? Yeah. They're both chestnuts. Uh, yeah. Ch um, meanwhile, fucking Komaru is like, oh god, what these kids. And hey, did you know kangaroos can jump backwards? And and the will and ultimate breeder. Not, snakes have ears. Ew. <laughs> yes, yes, that's all very nice. Our next introduction is Monica. Green-haired girl. Okies. Is it automatic? It doesn't look like it has any automatic function. Oh, she speaks in third person. The little ultimate homeroom. The little ultimate homeroom? Monica is called Monica. Oh, she is third person. Why do her eyes look like, you know, she's a robot? I was known as Little Ultimate Homeroom while I was in elementary school. You might think there are no ultimates and commons in a class like Homeroom, but there are. Homeroom's not like a class, though. For me, my skill isn't really about uniting people. It's about getting them all together. Oh, to God, happen. come on. Believe it or not, I bring together a lot of wonderful people. It would be nice if you could be a wonderful person for Monica, too. I mean... She's kind of cute, I guess. I'm sure you're familiar with it, right? Homeroom? Monica just loves homeroom. The first hour of the day. Hour? Share our thoughts. Hour? Dude, homeroom's like 15 minutes. And that is why, even in the Warriors of Hope, I'm the life of the party. Uh, but you are familiar nope. with the Warriors of Hope. Warriors of Nope. N no. The Warriors of Hope are heroes who save the world from demons. Demons, huh? Isn't that amazing? We're a party of heroes that hunt down demons. And I'm the party That's all that needed to be said. Makes me the number one king of this town. Uh, Is there headphones, uh, weirdly? You... You kids are just joking, right? With demons and kings... Joking around? Joking around? What do we just say? I mean, you guys are just kids, right? For a bunch of kids to be doing this kind of stuff. Don't you know I have a complex for this? Just kids. Rumble. So I'm assuming in, you know, the Japanese version, these were symbols a la Jojo. Huh? I'm aww. gonna kill That's you. The only thing I can say, just aww. In fact, all their eyes kind of look robotic. About to be, we were thinking, what does well, that mean? Doesn't matter. You're clearly a demon. What is Adults, happening? children, the power structure remains the same. The subjects have merely been switched. We're in the code name Kids Next Door, and we hate adults. With our Monokumas, you'll be nothing more than a squashed bug beneath our feet. Splattered like the sa Oh, stop that, Jotaro. If you say it like that, she'll think we're joking. Huh? Our Monokumas? So the ones controlling those Monokumas out there are... That's right! Isn't it so cool? The Monokumas obey any order we give them. Alright, so here's the question of the hour. Uh, how did they get in control of these? Exactly. I gotta click back into the window. I wanted to open OBS just so All I knew what time it was. Monica's magic. Because when, when I said, uh, you know, <laughs> when I said question of the hour, I wanted to see if an hour actually passed. Look at that face, that's, that's sinister. Our she can use magic that's our mage. Magic circles. So these rolls actually mean something? <laughs> Thank you, everyone. You're so nice. Yeah! Monica's smile is so adorbs. We stop oh, with the dwarves. And, and, no. and unpeel her stop as well. Stop. Like the chestnuts. Stop. Which part? Yeah, me too. Which, which part? If what you're saying is true, please. Stop all of this! We will not. We will never stop until we've completed our paradise. Right, they want a place for kids. Oh my god. Well, such a stupid... This is like cartoon level. Paradise? Oh, you didn't hear our address? 
A paradise made of children, by children, for children. We're gonna kill all the adults in this town and make a paradise just for kids. Yo, like, haven't you guys ever watched said cartoons where, like, a person wishes for a place that's just kids and then without adults there's no order or no one to, you know, do your laundry or shit? Isn't it awesome? No school or homework in paradise. Woohoo! Look, put me in the game. I'll tell them why this is a flawed idea. Why must fire? And since our paradise is for children only, there won't be any more pedophiles either. Oh, okay. You know what? That makes sense, I guess. But can we keep the ice? What are you saying? What are you talking about? It doesn't make any sense. Actually, you know what? The pedophiles on probably makes sense because of the, what do they call it? The uh, most tragic, awful, sh shitty event in human history. Probably created a bunch of those, huh? Mm. Kids kind of have to worry about that, huh? It doesn't have to make any sense. Like how her tears are also partially pink. That Uh -oh. She's one of those types of kids, huh? Uh oh, Th this is bad. Monica's mad. It's going to be all right, Monica. Please don't get upset. It's all going according to plan. That's right. If Monica says it, then why it is? Oh, all right, we get it. Oh, please don't get mad. We'll kill a lot of adults, see? So just smile, okay? Why do the question marks look cut off? Weird. Look, Monica I don't know what's happening. That's Jesus the Christ. As the leader, I'm, gonna hunt you down. I'm right here. You don't have to hunt me down. Hunt? Let us play a game. Uh, you will be our demon prey. First, tell me what a demon is. Because the way it's capitalized makes me think that it's not, you know, it's a the usual really kind of demon. Game. It was Monica's idea, after all. And the name of the game is... Demon hunting. Wow, what a creative name. Ta-da! Demon hunting! Demon hunting is a game where you release demons into Toa City. They're the targets. It's a super fun game where the warriors of hope fight to see who takes down the demon first. Wow, What's that happening? sounds super fun. And our very own Monica came up with it. See, Monica? We're going but to what are demons? Uh, we to be upset now, right? I'm assuming that I'm going to be released in the town and these children are going to try to kill me. And they're going to fail because they're children. Yes, yes, so exciting. Let's do it. Come on, hurry up and let's do it. No. By target, you mean... You, hurry up and prepare the device. The device. Nope. That's what that part of the intro is for. How they put it on me? Is a oh God, it's Komeda. Targets of the game. It would be best if you didn't try to remove it. Any tampering with it, and you'll go boom. So we're Fallout now, okay? Boom. At least it's not collar. Wristband okay, is very generous, then. even if it clips no. in. All right, let's go hunting. I'm right here. I, you know. Like, you know, it's like hide and seek. You gotta give them a minute, otherwise it's pointless. You've seen what we've accomplished so far. This is no joke. For an adult, you sure are dense. No, no, you don't understand. I'd be no good at this game. If you throw me into that town, I, I just get killed immediately. I mean, that's no fun, right? <laughs> come on, Gamaru. Ooh, so modest. But we know you don't die easy. You passed that test earlier. That was only because I had this <gasps> You know you shouldn't have said that. Anyway, that test was splendid. It was amazing how you were able to evade those Monokumas and make it. Okay, maybe they didn't hear. I guess it's all thanks to my advice from earlier. Hmm? Advice from earlier? It's like, shh, shut, shut However, up. However, even after you meet everyone. Yeah. Be sure to keep that gun of yours a secret. If you don't want to die, that is. Ah, oh, right, I messed up. Hey, no talking without the leader's permission. You're just a servant. All right, so I've, they were whispering that. They could have made that a bit more clear, but whatever. 
talk without getting the okay from me, I'm gluing your mouth shut. I bet you glued your mouth shut a bunch, you stupid child. <laughs> Trying to eat it. That is quite a scary thought. Well, let's get on with it. I mean, it kind of seems like he'd be good with kids. Maybe that's how it worked out. Why? What? Why what do you mean, are you what? doing something so cruel? I didn't even do anything bad. You made, you know, green-haired girl cry, you know. <laughs> like how they took time to turn to then oh, start laughing. You're too funny. <laughs> I'm laughing so hard my cheeks hurt. Don't patronize me. We play the games cuz they're fun. Duh. That's the only reason. You're only surprised because you aren't used to this way of doing things. This is just what we like. We do it because it's fun. And that truly is the only reason. Searching for meaning in the meaningless is for adults. Children are untainted by such futility. <laughs> oh my god. But to tell you the truth, I would rather not play this game. Good! There is still much work to be done to build our paradise. Yet, here we are playing games. This kid gets it, I guess. Why? Why don't you stop? We cannot do that. This is Monica's game. She said she wants to So she's done. not the so leader. Monica is the princess. Everyone. And I love what Monica loves. So that's basically the situation. I don't like that face. Thank you, Nagisa. Even though you're so busy, you did all this work for the sake of my game. What work? I'll have to bake you some delicious cookies later as thanks. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> what a dork. Aw, that's so not fair. I want to eat Monica's cookies too. Yeah, this kid can bake cookies at probably at the age of like 10. Meanwhile, I'm hopeless. Hey, Monica. What about me, the leader? You guys are getting sidetracked. How can you kids just keep smiling like that? You're not you're, normal. You're not normal. Mm, of course an adult sees this as abnormal. But who cares what adults say? I don't like that animation. <laughs> also, they really could have done a better job with some of these. In the current situation, you don't have the right to say a thing. You cannot choose your path. Oh, we'll see about that. Because this place you're in, it isn't a path at all. It's on a tropical island. What? With no escape. Except it's actually a computer simulation as well, with, with no escape. You are not on a path. You are falling into an abyss. The darkness gaping open beneath your feet. You are just going to fall and fall. Don't you feel the pull of gravity? We're in an elevator. What do you mean? She means this. Black screen. I don't like how she's so afraid with the in front of these children. Wow, a trap door. How'd you position it so so perfectly? I see. I see. They're on Angel Island. I get it. <laughs> Holding the skirt down. Kids, that's not how gravity works, though. A child's ears are. Ow. Wonderful ears. What a weird thing to say. A child's eyes are. It's, just, like, it's supposed to be dot 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 and then question mark. Adorable eyes. A child's mouth is. A great big mouth. Why is it so big? What is this? To gobble up the kids. <laughs> Do you hear that very last part? Sound like Chucky's laughter from Rugrats. Alright, game on! Alright, I'm going to not like this theme because I'm not liking Let's these children. This particular demon will be worth an extra high score because it upset us. <laughs> it. Then it looks like I'll win when I catch it. You know, like she has a gender. A game is different than my my. It 
It's rare to see Jotaro so pumped, but it also makes him extra gross. That don't matter. At the end of the day, the one who wins is gonna be me, the leader. Like, are those his ears? Like, <laughs> how are they not covering his ears? What? You want? Now, Whatever. now, it doesn't matter who wins. Got stupid Just make sure spikes you in his hair. Game. Well, anyway. You guys want to get a cola oh, or something? Great. Someone go buy some. Off she goes. And just like that, the pieces are in place. All that's left now is to wait for the decision. I mean, she's definitely the leader, right? <laughs> she's the actual leader. She's just saying that kid's the leader to shut him up. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. All right. Do your best, Miss Protagonist. Miss Protagonist, god damn it. Come here to stop. Characteristics. So common, so dull. So boring. Oh, that was the prologue? Already. The weird thing, I mean, the weird thing is I kind of want to keep playing. How about that? Because I haven't actually played, I guess, but... This is actually a good time to stop the recording and restart and then set it to keyboard. Let's see, achievement unlock. Rented rooms, nightmare hotels. There has to be like a save button though, right? Maybe I'll look into that in between videos as well. Because I don't want to do entire chapters. Crying for love in hell. Alright. Imagine they're going to put me in the city and then I'm going to be able to find the future foundation again. Or just genocider. Oh, I guess we'll watch this then. in this remix. Oh, it's a Monokuma. Who would have thought? Is <laughs> that fucking robot sound still? Oh, come on. The gun. The gun. You think hiding under the parachute is going to work after they already saw you? We just saw the parachute. Oh, dip, dip. here we go. Oh, how she actually uses scissors. Jesus Christ. All right, here we here we go. She's just like, what the fuck happened to this world? Yeah, there's the weird ass tongue. Hey, you? You're Kamaru na Eggy, right? Right, right, right. <laughs> Isn't that right? How she talk like that? Tell me. I'll cut you into pieces and line you up at the meat counter. Stop with the tongue, at least. That's a trait for Kamaru na Eggy. That's a trait. Here we go again. Oh no, there's more of them. <laughs> that was sudden. Oh, that was sudden as well. How's she gonna get those back? She's just gonna pull out more. Rendezvous. Rendezvous. Ooh, game. What a weird skirt. Big that mouth is either. Yes, madame. What madame. Do you have with me? But you the one who found me. Uh, are you here to rescue me? <laughs> Dekumaru, was it? What? It's Kumaru. Oh, I see. Kumaru Naegi. And where's Master Biakia? You know where he is, right? Huh? huh? That 
gun you're holding. All right. With the master's son. I almost forgot. This also unlikable trait about her is that she really likes Togami. You can... You know, in that kind of way. You got a death wish or something? Hiding master from me will cut your life expectancy. No, 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 I'm, I'm not hiding. Yeah, she didn't, she didn't say anything. She's just like, well, what do you mean by scent? Ten, nine, eight, seven. What are you doing? Yeah, what are you? <laughs> I'm counting down. Give me my master by the time I get to zero. I'm gonna cut you like wet mochi. Four, three, two. Oh, hold on. I really don't know. What? I mean, just say I last saw him. And that should be it. She's not going to do it, though. Right. Oh, okay, I see. She changed back into her normal uh, shy self, I guess. I don't know why. I forget what triggered it though. Huh? It didn't seem like anything triggered it. Here. Uh, I forget what oh, triggered the wait, switch in the first game. Me. You're Kamara Nagy, aren't you? I got it, right? Uh, I just told you that. Oh, did you? I, I, I can't help it, you know? I don't share memories with her. Her? I mean, at least I like this form more than Genocider. At least tell me whether you're an enemy or a friend. Well, you can call me your ally. Then come on! If we don't hurry, we're gonna get attacked! Yeah, the, like what happened to those Monokumas climbing it, up the fences? It's alright. Huh? No, it's... it's alright. I can do it because I made a promise with him. She still, she still likes him in this form as well, though. Oh, please. Oh, please. Attention. Toko's fantasy. Yes. I like the, they made the art style the pointy chin thing. Oh, that ability is not a curse, it's a talent. An um, amazing talent that holds oh, incredible possibilities. I don't like this. Master, th th thank you, thank you very much. Master that talent, mm. do it for me. Yeah, yeah, yes. I like this. Oh, hope that's the only time that happens. But I have a feeling that it's gonna happen throughout the game. So. Uh, are you okay? Like I said, it will be all right. So what's that like? Is that like writing in red on the top of her leg? What's that? I can make good use of her now. I've learned a lot since then. We're gonna take them all down right here, right now. I'll, I'll smash them to pieces. Let's go. Um. Oh. The song Omaru Naegi. Omaru. This is essentially me. Oh, do I get to play as her now as well? Switch to oh is it genocide or Jack? Did I ever say? When? What about I mean now I'm like what did I call her? Cause I have no idea. I, just, I mean I just called her genocide without this right? I knew it was genocide or J something. I think I thought it was genocide or Jill for a while, but not only does she not take damage, but she uses super strong attacks as well. Press the X button to attack and the B button to evade. Hold the X button for a special skill. Ah. Uh, Alright. You can focus on enemies with the LT button. If you press either the A button or the Y button, you can unleash a super powerful slash lust. You know, well, I guess I could see the tutorials when I switch to keyboard, but hopefully the buttons are good. Alright. Alright, here's where the hack and slash comes in with the, with the scissors. I guess that makes sense. That's kind of wild. That's kinda... Oh, look at this. We actually have uh, we have a lot of things now. 
Like a lot of things. Okay. Let's see. Just turn the sound effects down to half. Ugh. This camera's real close. Oh, you have to press A to pick up? Alright. Wish this camera was a bit better. <laughs> Maybe I'll get used to it. Oops, that's the dash. Fuck. I'm so used to playing on Nintendo. I got an achievement called a piggy bank. So, how did you like using Genocide Jack? Oops, I forgot to mention, there's a time limit, yeah? I'd imagine. When I saw she takes no damage, I figured. Revert back to Toko. Can't use Slash Lust limitlessly. Charge the, the Lust Gauge on the bottom right. And once full, you can use... Oh, God, okay. Lust Gauge fills up when Genocide Jack defeats enemies. Do a single one-gauge attack. Ugh. Am I going to need to, like, get a sticky note and write all this down? I'm not good with combos, so... One gauge attack with LT plus Y, and three gauge with LT plus A. Alright. Go back to Kamara with the Y button anytime. So be smart during battle. Oh, are they not gonna let me, like, try it out? <sighs> that was all of them, right? Amazing! That was amazing! What was that just now? It's like you were a totally different person! Too casual. Huh? D -d don't speak to me so casually, like I'm one of your friends or something. I'm your senior. B okay. But you still haven't told me your name. The tutorial did, though. <sighs> I'm sure so did the first game, but whatever. Right oh but shit, she's on to me. <laughs> it's Toko Fukawa. Toko so let's just say Toko and Genocider. Oh, How about sorry that? Sorry for having such a boring name. I bet you think it's perfect for a hag like me, right? Also, they say genocide, like genocide Jack, but I think in the Japanese version it's genocider, and I just got used to that. I, I don't think that at all. And anyway, what was that all about earlier? You were a completely different person. Just remembering Will Ultimate. I Still can't tell get over you. that. What? I don't remember. Didn't I already tell you? We don't share memories. Um, I don't really get it. Ugh, it's like I said, I have a split personality. That girl was girl. Genocide Jack. Okay? <laughs> you, you Come on. You don't believe me, right? You think I'm just some filthy woman who's sick in the head. You're probably wondering how a stupid pig managed to learn how to talk, aren't you? All right, that's being a little bit extreme I here. Think that's, well, maybe the maybe first, the first bit. bit. Oh my I mean, god. It's true that it's a little hard to believe, and I was pretty surprised. But if that's what you say, I believe you. It was a pretty drastic change, after all. You believe me just like that? What are you, stupid or something? Oh my god. Well, what was I supposed to say? Well, if you really are this stupid, that just makes this easier. It's just... I feel like I've heard the name Genocide Jack somewhere before. Were those lines around her eyes? Were those always there? I... I see. So, you still remember. Well... The murders. Hiding it now. It was all over the talk shows back in the day, after all. Shows. I guess those Wait, lines are always there. Could it be? No. Never mind. Couldn't be. I just never what? noticed. It's just... I feel like I've heard a similar name yeah. on the news about some serial killer. Yeah. That's, that's, that's the one. What? <laughs> but that was just in the old days. I, I've completely tamed her since then. Master yep, commander needs go. to discover the secret. And I learned the stun gun does the trick. Oh, okay, I see. And depending on how much shot Why would she shoot herself with the stun gun while, though? I go back to my normal self. Like, why would Genocider choose to do that? Is my question. Toko, it makes sense because she wants to, you know, get the blood lost, but <laughs> Isn't it great? It's all thanks to Master Biakia. Uh, anyway. Uh, anyway, yeah. It seems like a good skill to have. Over. 
With that power, we can get through them easy. D -d -d Don't be dense. Huh? Didn't I just say I need the stun gun to change? <laughs> My brain would fry if I just did it over and over. I can't just use it at will like that. Really? Anyway, That's what the cooldown's about. What is your relationship with Master Byakuya? Hmm? Why do you have that hacking gun? Oh, excuse me. I wish she knows what it is. I, I was saved by him earlier. He, he gave this gun to me. He, he, I, I. Saved? Saved? Master Byakuya saved you? Yeah, okay. This is a bit more more frequent than I thought, but whatever. I will, I will protect Komaru Nayagi. I swear it on my life. No. I swear in the name of the Togami family. He was not like that. Obviously. He's just like, I'll do it, but like get the just get the fuck out of here. I won't see you anymore. You better not get ahead of yourself. Just because you're ugly, you know. In a in ugly and a cute way. Why are you angry? Because remember this. I won't let anyone interfere in my romance with Master. I'm I see. Going to rescue it's called Master. Yandere. In the heat of the moment, we'll... <laughs> All right. So, so I'm waiting for the people who said that you'll like you'll like her more to uh, <laughs> waiting for that moment where that actually comes true. Huh? Because at the moment. Rescue? It's like basically just me not liking her in the first game all over again. Wait, hold on. Byakuya was captured? What, you just figured that out? Why would I even be here if it weren't for Master? That quickly? I guess he didn't make it out alive, but you think they would kill him, but whatever. Cowards. There's no way he'd just allow himself to be captured. I... I see. So he was caught after all. You better not feel responsible for this. Your guilt would be an insult to my master. Is that so? I figured you'd think the other way right. around. My worrying won't change anything. <sighs> What's with this chick? I can't believe I gotta take this into sex world. What was that? Oh uh, yeah, what was that last bit? <laughs> Nothing. And watch your mouth. I'm so terribly sorry question mark it's fine you're a lost cause anyway what's this interaction more importantly i want to hurry up and find master now is not the time to relax you're right we've got to get out of this building well then after you huh why do i have to go first you have the gun have yeah gun, don't you? you got a gun but don't worry when you're really in trouble i'll save you i can't have you dying on me now, come on. Stop staring off into space and get moving already. You're not dead yet. <sighs> Fine. Fine. It's all right. Now can I pause and save since I'm out of the prologue? It's... <laughs> Excuse me. I have the hiccups. Why is this blank? Servant. All right, I guess we'll read this and then be done likes togami and romance novels okay figure that much dislikes light novels and manga former student of hope speak academy and the ultimate writing prod prod prodigy not progeny like the other one i actually completely forgot what her ultimate was i guess she likes writing there we go i completely forgot currently a future foundation intern in love with co-worker Byakuya Togami. Alright, figured that much. Well, also likes Togami and adorable boys, alright. Dislikes unadorable boys and unadorable girls. The other personality that works inside Togo, a former serial killer, yeah, that solely targeted adorable little men. Eccentric and adorable little men. Eccentric, energetic, and also in love with Togami. Likes coffee and French and dislikes plebeians and microwave meals. Former student of Hope Street Academy and successor to the Togami group, not family. Survived the school killing incident along with Makoto Nagi and Toko Fukawa. All right. There are more people who survived, by the way. Likes beautiful things and beautiful people. Dislikes noisy places and ugly people. Okay. Wow. Rude. Ever since he was captured by the Warriors of Hope, he serves as their servant. However, he appears to have ulterior motives. He believes hope to be the most precious thing on Earth. I thought that he was, uh... 
the opposite at the moment. I don't know, maybe that'll be explained. Like soccer and vaulting, dislikes math and cigarettes. Heck yeah. Dislikes cigarettes, let's go. Oh, Dob, date of birth, okay. Vitals? Wait, what? What do you mean vitals? 24 inches. The blood type, you know, in the context of Japan makes sense, but I don't understand vitals, so whatever. Hero and, quote, leader, end quote. The Warriors, the game knows that we know, right? That's why they did that. The Lil Ultimate PE, super skilled at physical activities and sports, though he is boastful, the others rarely take him seriously. Likes being hated and washing machines, dislikes being liked and himself. Wow, ho wow. What a, what a great character. Priest of the Warriors of Hope, Lil Ultimate Art, can handle any arts and crafts, acknowledges and encourages being greatly disliked by his friends and himself. Likes peeled chestnuts and adorbs stuff. <clears throat> Dislikes unpeeled chestnuts and regular cute stuff. What's that even mean? Fighter of the Warriors of Hope, the little ultimate drama who used to be a famous child actor, loves adorbs things and actively collects them. You know, there aren't that many characters when you think about it. Like, this doesn't scroll down. Weird. Sit. Oh, wait, hold on. Likes dictionaries and Monica. Yeah, oh, Monica. She doesn't even have a last name. Dislikes earthworms and needles. All right. Sage and vice leader of the Warriors of Hope, the Will Ultimate Social Studies, is more. Ma okay, is. Okay, I see. It's not like a continuation of the sentence with bad punctuation. It's just like, you know. Is more mature than the other Warriors of Hope, and thus often plays the role of babysitter. The Will Ultimate Babysitter. Monica likes free period. Fuck yeah. Warm futons. Fuck yeah. Dislikes alone time and cold meals. Mage of the Warriors of Hope, the little ultimate homeroom who loves to engage or exchange opinions with everyone. She cannot walk and thus uses a wheelchair. I mean, I don't think you need to say that last part. That's pretty obvious, but whatever. Files. Scrapbook. It's weird that they show the other options on top, but you can't move them. Or move across them. Uh, okay. Let's see here. Move. F, 100, no, 40, shh, 32. Performance. Bling, bold shot, bling, bold shot, break, breakdown. What does it mean, bling up? I don't have any bling bolds. All right, I'm assuming those are the super powerful shots, maybe? I don't know. On, I think there were more things. Skills. Okay, so skills are back in a way. Automatically focuses the laser sight on the closest enemy. Well, we're gonna attach that skill uh, right away. Maybe. Auto lock seems more like an option than a skill, if you ask me. I don't like how you have to like press A to actively pick them up. Did that make a uh, uh, sound? Helpful. All right. And you might be asking, what is this thing? Oh, okay. What is this? Training potty? Don't like that. Well, <laughs> if it isn't your little buddy, maybe you what do you mean? What do you mean your little buddy? Hey, who are you calling a baby? Is that what she was you're saying? Offended, but you're still gonna ride it? I mean, look at it. Huh. This is surprisingly relaxing. So it's probably a rest stop or something? Seriously? Oh, I see. It's a safe spot. Good. Weird. But but good, I get. What the fuck? Okay. So that's the safe spot I was talking about. So you can't just save all the time like you can in the first games. So you have to reach safe spots. So it's probably going to be an unpleasant time for me. But. Alright. With this thing in mind, <laughs> I'm going to I'm gonna end the video. And Well, now we know what saving is. What did I say I was going to do after this? I completely forget. Oh well. Honestly, I might just con well. I'll probably take a break and then just continue afterwards since I kind of want to keep playing. Which is weird because after the prologue of Danganronpa 2, like I knew the game was gonna get good, but you know the prologue didn't really 
make me still interested in playing. Really, it's just my knowledge of how the game was going to go that made me keep going, in a way. But, uh... What was I saying? Right, but but this game, I kind of... I would, like, I'd keep playing if... I didn't have dinner and shit. So, we'll see. Oh, right, the keyboard. I'm going to have to figure out keyboard. And I'll see how the volume is. All that jazz. So hopefully next episode will end up being better <laughs> for aiming and for volume if it needs to be. So hey, 